Ladies and gentlemen, once again it is for the 692nd time, The Mason and Friends Show, featuring his Junus, a.k.a. that dude called Jew. Be careful of the unicorn pussy. It might turn you out. <laughs> as well as that dude called Mike, a.k.a. his black handness. Yeah. Me, I am Mason, a.k.a. L. Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends Show. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? Unicorn pussy. You gotta watch out for unicorn pussy. Might get your head right, might get your head wrong. Hey, Uh might make make a gay man turn straight, might make a straight Uh man turn gay. You never know. You just gotta Uh be careful for it, bro. Yeah, yeah, be careful, be careful. Yeah, there's been discussions. What's that dust gets on you? That, that. A unicorn dust. That unicorn pussy dust? That dust gets on you, ain't no telling it. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. What's that? That's how they do it too. That shit that What's that dust spray? Yeah, <laughs> sprinkle. It ain't telling how the wind's gonna fucking waft it and which and what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? I mean, you right, man. Pussy like will make a motherfucker do all kinds of like crazy things. Like that booty mist, man. All symptoms ain't the same for certain individuals. That is the truth. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, booty yeah, mist yeah. don't hit the same for mist everybody. Hit, mist hits you in all different ways, bro. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's fucking crazy out here, man. Uh-huh. You know, people's sexual preference is your sexual preference. You ever had your ass uh, eight? Fuck, we talked about that? No. Never good. <laughs> My girl. <laughs> Never in a way that I was like, ooh, we gotta do that again. Oh, oh man, it's all Oh, baby, wait, can we do that again? Never. <laughs> Not good, god damn it. <laughs> so that's, that's always a no. Uh-huh. That's a forever no for you. Like. Yeah, yeah, it's a forever no for me. You ain't no bitch's tongue going in my ass. Well, like, I can't give you a good review of the experience, so, like, you know, why would you even, you know, if I was like, oh, man, bro, you need to get that done. Bro, look. That'd be one thing. But I'm, I'm like, I'm like. I'm not going to lie to you. This motherfucker I worked with, this was some crazy shit. I'm at a Christmas party, young, uh, for the company I worked for. And I'm sitting at the table chilling. And I was the last one to get there, so I'm chilling, right? I hear these motherfuckers laughing. They're like, yo, ask Big Mike. Ask him the question. I'm like, oh, fuck. Uh, what is it? What you got, man? My homie comes to me. He goes, yo, man, have you ever had a bitch put a finger up your ass when she's sucking your dick? I'm like, what? No, bro. Not at all. Like, what kind of question is that? Like, why would I want a finger up my ass while I'm getting my dick sucked, man? That, that don't seem right to me. He's like, man, look, I'm telling you, bro. Change your whole world. Obviously, it changed your world, man, because I look at you funny now. Like, how much of this finger did she put in you? He's like, oh, she don't put in that much like the tip. I'm like, nah, motherfucker. If you got a finger in your butt, I, you just, she's not putting look, just the tip in. She just finding the G-spot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had a finger in my ass yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now you said yes. Yeah, Me I haven't you. had that yet. Either. I, you, I, you I'm, only, that. I'm only 39. I'm, right. I'm not. I'm not opposed to having my Boy, salad wait a minute, hold on. No, no, no. my salad talk. Look I'm not opposed to that. But a finger is, is you know. But if you a know, woman can convince me, she I, knows what she's doing. We're not gonna skip over this. But you said a, you're not opposed to I, your salad talk. So you let a bitch eat out your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I, I need to see what it, it thing is about. Cause I had, I had, you know, I've been around a. Uh, 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 an unpurposed lick, so to say. You know what I mean? There's been some times where they well, just start, they, they just don't, no. I, you already know that. I have no <laughs> offense on that at all. You know what I mean? I'll toss it out quick like but a chip. You say while but I'm just saying while girls lick your balls, a straight tongue. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they, when they, they when, when, when they rim it. Look, the good ones, yeah, the real classic across. ones. They start. They tell. They cover the whole area. All right. Well, that's all in there. The balls are usually damn near connected to the ass, depending on how you land. You know what I mean? So it's all right, right around in that old earth. You know what I mean? Shit. So you kind of want to. Ooh! <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on now. What, what just happened? You know? This motherfucker said, "Ooh!" It don't quite blink, man. It don't quite blink, man. You man, but you get, you know, you get a straight tug. It kind of gets you wondering, man, what kind of man you really is. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh man, goddamn it! Hey man, if it's a lady's tongue, I don't particularly care. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, 
God That's damn. where I'm at in it. You know, I'm not opposed to it. So, you know wait, what so I mean? if a woman was like sucking your dick and says all of a sudden you get a finger up your ass. That's a little too much. Look look it, it, be, it. We've ever talked about that. You know, like you there's know, some there's some porn star chicks that really know what they're doing. And if a porn star chick is like, I'm gonna have my way with you and she goes to stick her finger up my butt in the middle of some crazy, crazy shit and I come really hard, I'm not getting mad at her. I'm not gonna be upset about that. I'm, I don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna get upset. I like, need to see how much finger went. Exactly. I'm gonna be like, wait, if you would have. I need to see. He needs to see how much finger went. Hey, show me which digit you went to. Where, where, right, where, to the, where in the extent of the nail did you go, girl? All right, that's all I need to know. Where, where if the nail you know? wasn't visible, can you put on we, some gloves at if least? If the nail wasn't visible, we that's might all have I really want. Can you put on a glove before you do this? So as soon as you're done, you can just whack wrap that bitch off. If you see the nail, she ain't but a half inch in. No matter whatever. Kind so of you finger. say, so right. you say, you're not taking full penetration. Anything past nail might be violation. <laughs> But Especially if you start counting knuckles, and if you get a if you shit, next thing you know, she t- she double knuckle in, and, oh my and God. you crack She's a smile, like, you might have some questions. Technically, I couldn't go any further in. Yeah, you might have some questions to ask yourself, and you know, I mean, maybe a shrink. You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, girl, you're so worried. The Jew is so worried. So, He'd be sorry. like, man, I came with a finger in my butt. There's something yeah, wrong with see, me. That's what Doc, have you ever had a finger in your ass, man? Can I ask you a question, Doc, on a personal level? Have you had, ever had your finger in your ass? That's really wrong. I'm at right now. Do I? Is, is this a different copay or is this something we can score every day? You know what I mean? That's the only reason why I'm here. Life is great. You know what I mean? His problem is he's be down there getting his prostate checked and he's going to be like, hey, hey, work that thing a little bit, man. Hey, did she damage no, no, me? Did she damage me in 05? If you start moving around like this, like, hold on, Doc. Wait a minute, Doc. Wait a minute, Doc. Hold on. You're not there yet. There, there yeah. you are, Doc. Exactly. Okay, now. Work it, work it, she had a work possible it. anal injury in 05, man. She ain't fucked me up, right? All right, I'm straight. Now, hold on, man. <laughs> you have to know how far is she with your ass on the made you come. But no, this that's, is after the that's fact. His, that's his question. That's what he's worried yeah. about yeah. afterwards. Question. He's Especially like, man, you know, I came hard. Did and, you get yeah, two and digits? And it's about how hard Did come, you get dude. two digits in there, or was that just a tip? Like, if she was made you bust one? off one of them Hancock nuts, you know, was where you're fucking one? shooting up out the trailer ceiling and was shit like that. Hey, girl, was that your pinky or your middle finger? Which one? And was Which it all of it, use? or was it just some of it? Uh, yeah, I need to see the girk. Because you're in the heat of the moment, you don't really realize. I need you to take this. I need you to take this brand new thing of Play-Doh. Possible violation. You I need you to take this brand new thing of Play-Doh and go into it exactly how much you went into yeah, my yeah, booty yeah. hole with this, Please, with Jabber Fan. And then I'm gonna take it to my uh, uh, my uh, pediatric and be like, Hey, is this too much? Is this a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Can I do this on the regular? <laughs> How much of this can you get certain? <laughs> it's fucking legally fine. <laughs> How is it that the second episode is always so much crazier than the hey, first? Man. God damn it. This is us warmed up. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker here. So, hey. I'm still, <laughs> it ain't my fault talking to Unicorn, no, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm talking to Unicorn, I'm pussy. Unicorn I'm pussy. I'm just still tripping that you need to know how far she went in. Now, if That's she, what's important to him. If she made you fucking lose your shit, like fucking completely blow your load numerous times, not just once. Oh, we're like, doing it ain't. again. Uh, <laughs> I got to, I, I'm like, sorry about it. You call yeah, That's like, like if you go down that route once and it's amazing, you're going down that route again. Right, look, girl, I don't even want you to suck my dick. Just put your finger in my ass can and you make just, me bust can like you did. you just diddle my booty hole? Like, I, need, I need three good hard ones. Just, just, I don't go think ahead. I can say that out loud to her, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Would you just be like real, like obvious about it? You yeah, roll up on be like, yeah, just yeah, you know, like when women get up on you and bend and move their ass up on you, how they scoot their ass up on you. That's He'd just doing. be sitting his hand, his uh, his booty right on her hand yeah. the whole time. I probably, I might. <laughs> Oh, I saw him slap my ass. <laughs> oh, are you gonna move her head to your ass? Like, no, I pop, I pop my cheek out a bit. Fucking <laughs> 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 stupid. Later, I got that ass there. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, yeah, damn it man. <laughs> That's that could be like. a, that could be an every time thing. <laughs> every time, like it could be every the time. The only way you can get off is if she puts her face. Maybe get, ass maybe off. get, maybe <sighs> toss in the salad, but I. <sighs> I can't be getting no. You see him in a relationship with a new woman, you, you know. You just said that might be an every time thing. If no, the tossing, the tossing of the, the salad. tossing can be every time, but not the finger. I don't know yet. I gotta really see what I gotta experience it first to figure out what kind of experience it is. Now, look, really, you know. Now, hold on. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> we talked about this a couple episodes ago. The shit he puts out in the universe, he's manifested it now. He's gonna find that one chick that one day is gonna put her finger up his ass and it's gonna fucking turn him out. 
You, we've all been with the chick that's want to put their finger in her. Oh, yeah, at that's one true. point, nobody's in time, ever they said it out loud. Nobody's ever said asked it. You that? Nobody's ever said. But at least you, we've oh, always, you we've one. all been with I'm, at least I'm, I'm, one chick. Yeah. I wouldn't put it fast, but at nobody's least. ever been like, "Hey, have you ever tried this? You want to give it a little? You see what I'm doing with my finger? Watch this. Right now, I'm good. Exit only. Could be a bitch. Come on, nah, I'm I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> I don't need a finger up my booty hole. Uh-huh. Not at all. Cause then you gotta look at her funny. Then you gonna be like, I can't look at you the same way. You can't be sitting there eating breakfast and she just smiling at you. And she violated you. <laughs> but you can look at her different when you when she fucking gobbling your I whole mean, fucking load. That's what you I'm just saying. Spackle it all if, down her if, whole whatever if, down her tonsils and shit. If whatever she is up to is truly like that amazing and intense like if if the best orgasm you've ever had is that time she she licked your taint and stuck her finger up your booty mid blowjob you know you're not going to have a problem with it that sounds like birthday that's what I'm saying. That's like birthday, special, right? Yeah. That's some birthday, birthday special. Birthday, birthday, Halloween, Halloween, right there. It's birthday, Halloween, Halloween especially. <laughs> like <laughs> that birthday, it, shit. like if you do it right, she Fuck. turns around and returns it. I just remember this when you said that, man. I actually worked with a dude, <laughs> the same guy that had the sex toy machine, man. The blowjob hand yeah, machine. Yeah, the blowjob joint. He used to fucking tell us, man, on birthdays and holidays was the day he would like fucking like. Take like a a, cl- a colon cleanse or whatever, you know, <laughs> because he was like, man, she's gonna toss my salad, man, because it's birthday and holiday. I'm like, wait a minute, what? birthday, I get my salad tossed. And got a finger in the booty hole. I worked with a dude that would fucking openly talk about this shit, man. To anybody that would See, listen, and that's it. He loved it so much, he wanted to spread the word. That he did. He was he like, did. you can too. We're like, what? Wait a minute. Nah, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, that's <laughs> like that spot's got to be something, bro. I, I would assume, I guess it's so. It's the intensity of the orgasm that has to be something. That's what, what they say is because we have a prostate, that's why it feels better going up in the booty hole. But well, because it's the prostate that's getting stimulated, and the prostate is like the base of the cack. Yeah. <laughs> but how far do you have to go in to get to that? Not far at all, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's far. Like the grand scheme far, of thing is, I don't far, think it's far. It can't be far because. There's only so much space in the area that you're involved in. Yeah. Like, there's like, there's dick, there's booty hole. They're all right I mean, there. Directly, you're just going to the base of the dick, so it can't be that far. Right. What an inch? Maybe. Oh uh, no. And Maybe that less. Wasn't my strong suit. Maybe more. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You gotta be hitting the you gotta be hitting the surface area half inch in. <laughs> At least near. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like sniffing right around that. Sniffing right around the turd. You know what I'm saying? Just sniffing right around the turd. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the prostate can't be too far from it the turd. It can't be. Like all that shit can't. And all that. Right there, it's all gotta be all right there. It's probably just right above the taint. Like it's probably on the, on the back side of the taint. Because then, you know, you got to go in and get your prostate exam, you know what I mean? So they got to put a finger up your well, ass. Well, there you go. You anyway. can just ask the doc. How, how far are you going there, bro? I just want to yeah, make sure Yeah, like, what's the technicality? Well, yeah, right, right. I want to be able to tell Tiffany, yeah. like, a, like a depth like, to look, shoot for. Let's see, hold look, on. Tiffany, Jim only went in one knuckle, bitch, so there ain't no reason Dr. you go Jim. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Jim. Dr. Jim. Dr. Jim only went in one knuckle in me. Like, oh, Jim only went in one knuckle in me. That'd be so great. Tiffany, Jim went in, like, no more than a knuckle, and here you are, three knuckles deep. God damn it, Tiffany. Smile. Hold on, wait a minute. The gym knows so much better than you do. <laughs> so funny. So you, are you asking the doctor before he gets in your asshole or after? Or this while is after. he's in it? This, this is, is after. after. While you're bent over, like, hey, doc, how far are you? No, going no, no, no. Doc, now that we've gone yeah. that far together, can you go ahead and explain to me how far in my booty hole my doc, prostate actually is? Doc, you've been all in is? my ass. Can you figure out how deep I was? Because I may want to just try to look for it myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> If I can weed out this cafe on the next time. You're going to have the bear underneath yeah. this shit squat yeah. over a bear and try to you, fucking you put say a what, five ass. years, man. Five years. That ain't my five-year plan, bro. So what I'll do, what, if I get two mirrors, right, how far with my finger do I need? What actually am I looking for? Oh, shit. <laughs> what's it supposed to feel like? <laughs> Stupid, He's I trying to make sure he knows what's going like, on. Am I looking for like noodles and noodles, or am I looking for a corn kernel or something? Or, like, I mean, what, like, what are we looking here for? Like, a lettuce leaf or something? Like, what, what, what are we, what are we here feeling around for, Doc? 
Yeah, that'd be something for your kids to walk in on y'all while you trying to figure your own booty out. Prostate home. and your shit. <laughs> why you got the little square dude talking, talking to you, and shit, trying to tell you how to fuck, put your own finger in your asshole, colon right, like. <laughs> Once you figure all this out, once you figure all this out, Jude, oh, we're gonna have to make a how-to video and put it out oh, in the world. All up in that ass. Yeah. Uh, all up in that That's ass. what we would call it. All, all up in that ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> how to have your prostate properly stimulated yeah. by your friend. Yeah. And then how Not to a bleach. specific yeah. friend. Yeah. By your but then, friend. And then we had to do a bleacher after. Then we can bleach it after for him. No bleaching. No. Yes. This. Yes. Yeah. Lots of, like booty or hole maintenance. Proper, proper, proper booty hole. Proper booty hole interaction. Because you gotta clean colon the cleanse is a douche technique. Because you can't fucking just put your finger up in there and not expect that to just un- come on back out. out. Yeah, because something's gonna fall up. Because basically, like, like you try to clean the pipe out. Like, if you ever had a clogged pipe and you snake the pipe and then all that shit comes out, back it's drap. the same thing. Back drop. <coughs> So you put your, because they give you that fucking drink you gotta drink before you get a camera up your butt. Yeah, you gotta work, you gotta watch out. Yeah. You don't wanna have a motherfucker after taco night. Uh huh. You know? Yeah, that's why they tell you not to eat. Yeah. What is that shit, just like black light? That shit probably just black lights everything so they can go in there and see what you No, it actually no, flushes, it's flushes you out. You, oh, you gotta be, be cleaned yeah, out. you like shit for 24 hours or whatever. So before. that way when you they drink this crap and shit for 24 just hours. Shit for days. Yeah, yeah so, so that way when they go up in there with the camera, when they pull that shit out, there's, ain't nothing there's, coming there's out. There's not a lot of duty on there. They're not having to fight through like like sharks. Brown Back sharks. Up, yeah. They're not having to fight behind all the brown sharks. Yep, the turtle heads and shit. The space ball scene. The peekaboos. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's bad. The motherfuckers will get you. They got to be able to uh, see clean tracks. <laughs> Holy shit. This show goes hard, man. Yeah. We're not yeah. playing. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. A little rough. Sorry for all, all you got. Hey, look, if you like a finger in your butt, you like a finger in your butt. Hey, you if know? you like a finger in your butt, hit us up and tell us about it. You know, we're trying to learn, we're trying to learn some things. Clearly, there's some curiosity here. I, yeah. The G-Unit wants to know how many digits you got to go and with which finger. Yeah. It's going to take one finger. Exactly. It should be one finger. But is it the middle finger or is it the pinky or is it the thumb? What on or is it one of the other them ones? Them double jointed people, you may want to use the double. You may like when the people they can do this. You right. may want to get in there. Or they could flip their finger backwards yeah. the other way. Yeah. Now you're talking. Oh yeah, the ba- oh yeah. The backwards finger the one, deal. Yeah, the guys are going to. They just sit there with, and their shit. Where the fingertip like, goes yeah, the opposite. It's just numb like not that there. way, but it goes the yeah, other way. In their shit. <laughs> I bet that would work real good in the, in the fucking vagina if you could do that. If you could get your thumb oh, finger numb absolutely. like they do it, where it'd just be like, I don't know how they do it. Dude, if I could work it 180 degrees from one way back to the other side and get that in there on oh, that yeah, G spot and just bloop, 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 you know that's working out. Got a little pressure on it. <laughs> Got to be. Yeah, out there. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> shit that comes up on this show. Well, that's just that's just what I had going on. I ain't got nothing to do with yeah, Mike. That. Mike's like unable to compete. Like right. you were talking about something before the show, Mike. But uh, oh, it was just just it's just a dude that's suing Texas Pete for not being made in Texas. Like <laughs> Hell yeah. he just filed He's a lawsuit. Too, man. I know Fuck, he filed man. a lawsuit. How much does he want? God oh, damn yeah. it! Where does he live? He don't even live in Texas either, probably. No. Man. He, yeah, he's got nothing to do with it. He probably doesn't even like Texas Pete. No, he said he known Texas Pete has not been made in Texas because it says it on the bottle, but he's suing Texas Pete because it's made in North Carolina. How does he know that whoever Texas. came How does he know that Pete wasn't from Texas? Or the guy's name wasn't Texas. It might not have been Pete. Exactly. It could have been It could have been Paul from Oklahoma. But and he was like, man, ain't nobody going to buy Paul Oklahoma Paul's hot sauce. He's suing Texas Pete. Ain't nobody buying Oklahoma Paul's set te- nobody hot sauce. Nobody is, but he's nobody suing Texas Pete. Because fuck it is not made in Texas. It's made in that'd South be like North that'd Carolina. be like if Old El Paso changed their name to like like New Baltimore. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Nobody fucking wants New Baltimore taco seasoning. It's a dude in LA. Of course it's gonna be LA. Of so course. In LA you go buy some Texas Pete. Now nah, you see the you see the hookup, you're like, dude bro, you know these fucking Texas Pete isn't made in fucking Texas. Oh bro, we should sue him over that, dude. And uh, if he, he he probably went big just He's because gonna win. He's not going to win. Fuck that shit. He's going to win. The way the world Judge, is now. Nah, Judge Mason says no dice. That's not happening. I don't believe it will. I'll be shocked if that goes like that. I'm not saying it I couldn't. I wouldn't be. I'm not I saying it be. couldn't, but I will be shocked if it does. He wants them to change their branding and all kinds of shit. There's no way. What are they, the Redskins? Get the fuck out of here. 
All right, so the food company has till November 10th to, to brand respond. Brand change. That's right. They changed brands, motherfucker. So November 10th, I'm going to put that in the pen, put a pen in notes. November 10th, we're going to see what happens. Because uh, that's when uh, the Tucker company has oh, they to, call it that. to respond. They was going to call it the Mexican Joe prior <laughs> to Texas Pete because they're trying to figure out names is what this one says. Mexican right here. Joe. See, but that's just it. It doesn't matter. You can call it anything you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Yeah, Thank just because it's not made in Texas. William. But if he wins, I wouldn't be surprised if he won. I mean, I will be people, shocked. And if he does, then we have to figure out somebody else to sue. Exactly. That's the other thing. Like, you know what right, I mean? Cool. Milky Way is made in the made from the Milky Way. Right. This <laughs> Three Musketeers wasn't made by Three Musketeers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like you could take this shit any kind of way you want to take. It. You could just run down the list. I mean, fuck shit. the bullshit. I still felt like an asshole after I ate a Snickers bar. I'm gonna sue you, motherfucker. Exactly. Like, changed. where does it end? And I'm not sure if I'm a left Twix or right Twix person. You know, I'm confused. I ate both Twix and couldn't both tell the difference. Couldn't tell. It pissed so me you off. Got, you should be able to tell which Twix is the left one and well, which Well, because the right with one. the way people are right wing and left wing, you could see how people would be like, no, exactly. I only eat left Twix. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's they what eat saying. literally one of the Twix. When it's like, literally, like, it depends on what side of the bag what you side open. What side of the bag you open, exactly. You know? Stop it, y'all! <laughs> this is the world we are in right but now. That's why that's a great ad campaign because it's totally like making fun of that. In my yeah. opinion, it's a subversive, like dig on like uh, politics of America <laughs> and the world these days. Right wing, left wing. Later, that's it. You laughing? What else did you find? Uh, they just dumb. They talking about he's cheated his way into a three billion dollar hot dog. Hot sauce industry by lying to these people. <laughs> by saying he's from by Texas. Saying, yeah, it's but Texas just calling Pete. him Texas Pete. Pete. Texas and calling yeah. Texas Pete. Now they wanted to change his name. To what? What do they want to change it to? Not from not Texas so, Pete? Not, just not, not Texas. Texas. Pete. Just not, not, not Texas. Texas. How about not Texas nothing, Pete? Nothing with Texas, yeah. Just some hot Peter. Because the Pete is, is one of the, the owners. Or hot see, Peter. Pete is like a nickname of one of the dude's kids so, or son or whatever. Made so hot song. Peter. So they just came up with Texas. They want something American. Well, what like, what, like this, this is absurdity. So This is fucking absurdity. Yeah. When you got time on your hands to do dumb shit. And, and if if that dumb shit pays off, well, I mean... Well, that's like if I had named the show the Malcolm and Friends show, and they'd be like, what's your yeah. name? It's not really Malcolm, bro. Yeah, exactly. And I'd be like, well, the Jew's name ain't the Jew. That's also like, mine ain't J-Rod. That ain't so. J-Rod right there. You know? Now, my name's not Mahoney. But you got... Mo- if they, if everybody's trying to... But my homies call up. me Mahoney. Everybody's looking for that come up. Everybody call me G. And- right. You've been the Jew since... Jew? For decades, bro. Yeah. That's how I met you. I didn't even know your name was Andrew until like two, three years later. I didn't know later. if he had a religion, if there was like, I didn't know what the fuck it was. That's I didn't the first care. thing I thought it was. I was, was like, there. whatever. What is, hey, man, you're going to meet my brother. He's a Jew. Okay. I didn't know y'all Jewish. We're not. He is. What? Huh? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I met him and everybody at Applebee's was calling him the Jew. And I yeah. was like, hey, yo, the Jew, hey, yo, Jew what's up? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And he responded, and that was all I needed. <laughs> like, okay, bet. We're good here. I guess I do call him the Jew. How about that? All right, he responds to the Jew, so I will continue to refer so to him. I had one such. dude I worked with, man. Hey, you got them fries, man? Fuck them fries, man. Oh, all right. So, yeah, I'll, Mama the Pinga, bitch. I can fuck with that guy. Oh, I remember that shit. Hey, Damn. Jose, get them fucking fries, bro. My name is not Jose. It's Jesus. It's Jose today. All right, Jose, get them fucking fries. They burn them, <laughs> motherfucker. Goddamn, this ribeye is coming up off this bitch, dog. Yeah, it's ribeye time, Alfredo's right about the microwave. Got 12 seconds left on the microwave, dog. This shit's cooked to perfection. They cooked a lot of shit in the microwave at Applebee's. Oh, all the bosses was in the microwave. Yeah. I don't know if they still microwave. All the vegetables were steamed. All the vegetables were steamed in the steamed microwave. Steamed vegetables steamed, steamed in the vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. microwave, yeah. In yep. a plastic bag. Yo, hell yeah, my girl. That's how you do it. You gotta make it quick. You gotta get it out to the customer. Goddamn Boom, here, right. Here you go. Here's your shit. Enjoy. Hot as fuck. Yeah, we Nasty. do that shit. Nasty yep. stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, you ain't get that five-star shit from there. I mean, I worked in restaurants long enough to, like, not want to drink draft beer, like, 90% yeah, of the time. Yeah. If, if the beer ain't something I really, really, really like... I'm not drinking it. Give me it in a bottle. You got a bottle? No? All That's right, like Seven Eleven and Slurpees. I'm very I don't like doing it going to seven eleven and Slurpees because I know some of the motherfuckers don't clean that machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing. Because that's gotta be cleaned out every fucking time. Well night. it's like if 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 I can't think of any scenario where I would really want a taquito at t- at seven eleven. But that's the only thing I can think of that they have. Like maybe if I bought it, took it home and cooked it at home. 
I can wrap yeah, I can wrap my head around that. Roller. Right. Yeah, like fucking I remember these dudes I used to work with, man, they used to fucking get the big bites. I'm like, man, bro, why you get it's it's fucking eleven thirty. You know how long that motherfucker been rolling around on that goddamn. And who knows? Spinner? When's the last time the spinners got clean? Exactly, exactly. Because they don't clean those. Right. I mean they they run some hot water on them and scrape them. That's if something were to spin. Some of this stuff's really hard to clean. It and is. I, and I've worked no spinners. You can't. Right. I've worked at a I've worked in before. stuff, and I've I've never tried to clean the spinners at a Seven Eleven. But like I've tried to clean stuff in my day, and I know when I see that shit, I'm like, you ain't get that clean. You ain't yep. get that properly. Yep. Not it's properly like clean. The, the same with the slurping machine. Like you got to dump this fucking hot ass goddamn water down that uh-huh. bitch to clean the pipes out. Uh-huh. You got to run it. A lot of people don't even bother running to get all that shit circled through. So yeah, fucking yeah, you gotta flush there. everything that's you gotta in there flush out. Flush it there. all out. Yeah. You're supposed to flush it all out. Yeah, uh-huh. motherfuckers won't do. It. That's why the machines are always breaking if, down. If I had my own Slurpee machine at home, I would rock with Slurpees all the time. I would be like, yo, I got the Jolt Cola so Slurpee machine. What's up? Yeah, you know what I mean. See, I knew when I worked there. I knew because I cleaned that motherfucker. That was the joint I did. Because you'd I knew, clean it, run a batch, know, and then and have I'd some. Be straight. I'm like, all right, I know this is gravy. I'm good. You know, it's set up for the next day. See, that's the thing. You know too much. That's why you don't drink Slurpees. It's the same reason why I don't drink fucking draft beers. I yeah. bartended for too long. You know, a lot I of pulled shit. on that shit and seen too many things come through that I can't serve to somebody. I don't yeah. know what that is, but I'm dumping it down the sink. Yeah, because you know, you got- and I'm gonna just pull another tube. And I'm going to dump that. And I'm pouring clear, four or five glasses. All right, this one's coming good. I'm going to go ahead and be kind and let that glass that got all the funk in it just sit here and get a fresh glass and fill it up with some of this fresh beer that ain't got no funk in it. Yeah. I've served people beer with beer with funky things floating in it. People yeah, be like, what is this? I'm like, I don't know. I wouldn't drink it if I were you. You yeah. want a bottle or something? Yeah. yeah. Like, I ain't in charge, man. I'm not the one cleaning these lines. Because even those lines, because those lines are just hooked up to the keg, and those lines don't get flushed that's through right. because they don't have nothing to flush through. That's right. Well, it, well, there's people that come well, and are that supposed, that's to, supposed to do that, but yeah. But I, they do they? How often do they? Like, well, I apparently see, that, got hired for one of those cleaning line things because I like filled out an application. I get like job sins now. That would be a bad gig right there. Kinda, kinda. But like, you got to get in it. You got to have the equipment. You got to know what you're doing. You got to go from place to place to place to place to place and just do it. But like, I don't know, man. That's it's some like shit. air duct cleaning, but just for that. Cause yeah, but all you're doing is pull, hooking the pipe. Like you're not re- repairing it. All you're well, doing is plugging no, up, just, plugging but you up lines, turning. You gotta climb line. over all the bullshit in the refrigerator where the fucking beer stuff is, and get clean, linked into the lines, and run that shit through. And you gotta switch them from one to the next to the next to the next. And like, I'm telling you, that shit is a pain in the ass. Like I've, I know it enough to know that I could do it. But I would know that it's a pain in the ass. If I could do it like on a Saturday morning, go and do like two two restaurants in the region on a Saturday morning and make like 150 bucks, yeah, I'd do that shit. Yeah, you do it in the morning. On Saturday. Jo- or even during the week. You would have to. I, can't, I got a job during the week. You know well, what I mean? That'd be your job. You that'd be funny if, if, you I, took, work, if, if you I took work lunches. At, like, you gotta be, that's got to be decent money to where you can make a living off of that. I mean, yeah, I that bet you make 45 no maybe. You maybe 45. You motherfuckers can make a living going around selling you beer or telling you what you how you need, you know the fucks that come around there with the little clipboard and shit. No, Those fuckers no, can make a thing. living and shit. I've like, worked God, so damn. many shitty jobs. I don't understand how people make a living. Cuz all the shitty jobs I've worked where other people work in them and they like they like live their lives off of them. And I'm like, dog, I got to make enough money to move out of my parents' house." Yeah, that yeah. kind of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just not like what do you got? Got roommates forever? Like this it's uh, man, it's all fucked up right now. It's all now. fucked up. It is fucking nuts out this bitch, man. Uh huh. Motherfucker suing Texas Pete. I'm find a fucking company to sue, but like you just gotta find somebody to sue. At this point, no, in time. man. Damn it, we. Fuck, man. Could have. I mean, you know, forty thousand. I don't need much. Like frosted flakes, they're <laughs> really not yeah. great. I'll drop it for forty k, Texas Pete. Yeah, no yeah, big deal. Know. I don't no. even like that shit, and I'll definitely see. But that's why it. that's why you oh, didn't look into it. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Texas. You're not I surfing. Don't, I just for don't f- like it as a hot sauce. Like I like Frank's. Frank's look, like, Frank's is, Red Hot. It's Frank made by. I Bill. don't put that shit on everything. But what can you? But what well, can you get at them is, about it? Or what if, could you get at them about Bill, it for? Who made it? Did some motherfucker named Frank? Because it was built by some dude named Bill. Fuck him. Why is it called Frank's then, bro? I'm man. I love me some Frank's. I'm not gonna. I'll sue him and I won't stop eating it. But. God damn! You know what I mean? Y'all didn't name this after yeah. the actual guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who well, but what about friend? Uncle Ben? They changed the name. 
Like, what if Uncle Ben well, really he was, was in he a race? Was, he was, was he raping people or something? Is that what they changed him? Or something? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they took people. him off they to think because he's black. Because he's oh. a black guy. They're like, it's racist to put Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima on. See, the, the Aunt Jemima, oh, I had, get a little but more than Uncle Ben. see dude fucking Aunt Jemima for at least a season. <laughs> now, he danced style. on the TV yeah. commercial with hey, hey, him. Like, yeah. He was fucking that on the side. What's wrong with that, man? That's interracial relationships. Interracial relationships. But interracial relationships are all kinds of commercials these days. And now we want to get Mrs. mad because because the colonel's dancing with Mrs. Buttersworth in the commercial? Come on now. Her well, joy. yeah, we got mad at the fucking frog for just going out there saying, W.M.W. Barry! <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? Was he it's, it's, raping other frogs and shit with his cane? Like, no, nah, he was just out there, W.M.W. Barry! For some reason, you can't get rid of that motherfucker. For some reason, people say it's racist. I don't yeah, fully even, grasp it. But I don't yeah, know why. Was he supposed speed, to be a black frog or something like speedy, that? Like, speedy Gonzalez. No, no, no. Trey said it one time. He was like, uh, that's right. What the it's hell? apparently a spoof of... The guy that did the uh, the blackface back in the day, that that dude would do something yeah, similar. But they, you know, they got rid of Speedy Gonzalez because that was racist towards Mexico. Speedy's not around no more. But Speedy's just a certain kind of Mexican. Like how many different Mexican? How was he racist types to Mexican? Of, he was fast. He was a hard worker. Well, because he had Slowpoke Rodriguez yeah, was Slow his cousin, Rodriguez. and Slowpoke Rodriguez was just drunk or high he or whatever. Was, he, no, he was drunk and he was high. He was high. All right, well, okay, high that's still right. right but like that's the thing, right? It's just two different kinds of that's Mexican mice. Two different mice. Mexicans right there, right there. Right. It's just, it's just two, different two different people. But two see, different they, they of people. Race, two different degrees of a million degrees. Now Pepe Le Pew, he's gone because. Because fucking, he was like a fucking sex offender. Yeah, he's Pepe, a rapist. Pepe Le Pew yeah. was straight raping bitches. Yeah. Like uh, every every raping. scene. He nobody has home. a major. Pepe nobody home. has a major argument about that. But but it's not like Pepe Le Pew Pepe was Le Pew like wasn't held a up. Rapist. He was a sexual. He, he, he was a predator. He was a fucking pedophile. He wasn't a girl. He was a fucking. He, he was a clinger. No, he he was everything. He did all the things. He beat off in the movie theater beside people and shit. He did all. He did Pepe Le Pew. He was always chasing bitches. he was chasing bitches. How old was that bitch? See, we don't even know. He was, I would assume the same age. You would as think. You would fucking think, but you know, never fuck. Nobody I'm fucking mad knows. He was bro. chasing that black pussy. He was chasing was pussy problem. all the time. All yeah. the time. He was chasing pussy. Stalking <laughs> vagina. He was stalking all, fucking yeah, he, he got, vagina. I give, and he would he, grab it up, too. He was a stalker. He was a groper. He was a, uh, 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 what is it called? He was sexually offended women, but he never raped them. He would. He he definitely was inappropriate because he would kiss on their arm yeah, and shit. Um, and then lock him up with his tail and shit. Yeah, come on. And he, he, like he, he, in one episode, I remember him locking the doors on the bitch. Like, you can't get out of here. <laughs> You in there. Matt Lowered him. And yeah, and he's chasing, he's hopping around the room while the cat's running. He's hopping. Oh, boy, me, where are you? Uh, I look pretty. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. These are the cartoons that we grew up with, though. But so, we didn't grow up in to be rapists anymore than anybody else. No, exactly. exactly. You know, yeah. like Bill Cosby grew up on that shit, too, but it's not, bro, it's it's not their fault. Bro. We weren't out here shooting up people like Yosemite Sam was. And Yosemite Sam never really shot nobody. He just shot the ground to no. pop his little ass up off the ground. Or whatever he shot would turn black and charred. It yeah. didn't have holes in blood. It was just like, Elmer Fudd. Wow. Elmer Fudd was out hunting animals. You didn't ah. see fucking Peter getting rid of Elmer Fudd because of, oh, he had an Animals. Peter got to get rid of them. You Can't know what I mean? Frank. Why not? Jake, Jacob Frank. That's so, his name. so there's a real Frank that yeah. makes Frank's red hot. So, yeah, but it's not hot. Clown. It's not red hot. And I don't put that shit on everything. There's angles, dude. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. yeah. There's, there's fucking angles. Exactly. But like fucking, uh, well, who else was there, man, back <laughs> in the day? <laughs> All right, I'm over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> My bad. Yo, so uh, I just started watching Dahmer on Netflix. Oh, <laughs> Lord. That shit's crazy. What is that? Like, it looks Dahmer. awful. It's it looks, not. It looks awful. It's really not bad. It's, it's just. Like, about Jeff, you remember Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer? Jeffrey Dahmer, the guy that was eating his parents. That ate the people? He had his parents in the freezer. I, yeah, I think so, yeah. No, oh, that's a special now? No, nah, it's just on Netflix. They they made a fucking <clears throat> Netflix series about them, like it's fucking ten episodes. Oh my lord! Yeah, it's another one of them Netflix things. Ten episodes of him just eating his people. Yeah, eating his parents. It, it's just giving you the background, like what the fuck? Because you got some survivors there, you know. You bit. remember that joke from the nineties about Jeffrey Dahmer? Which one? What did Jeffrey Dahmer say to Lorena Bobbitt? Ah, uh, you gonna eat that? <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey. 
<laughs> then, That's like, a good one, right? He probably That's looked at her and was like, man, she just wasted a good fucking piece of meat right there. A good dick, man, just laying out on the ground. I'm eat that shit. Well, I mean, it depends, you know? It could have been like an appetizer. could have been a whole fucking meal. Who knows? That's also true. And there's no telling. See, Dom, I mean, not Dom. Was he just eating these people bottom. straight up? Was he cooking them? He would cook. I think so. It all depends. I think he I, cooked them. You start eating on their arms. Right, shit, pickled like, parts of them and cooked parts of them. And yeah, and then the rest he would dispose of. Because I was telling the guy at my job, I said, man, I remember that shit when it happened. He was like, what? I'm like, that's right. You, you, you're too young. You're only 24 years old, so you never knew anything about this. You're only getting what you've seen. Was that 90s? In Netflix. Yeah, 92, 91 is when he got arrested. He got killed in jail. A motherfucker killed him in jail. Yeah, because he was a wacko. Yeah. They didn't and like fucking, him. He was, oh, you knew like, he was going to die in jail, man. I mean, fucking fuck. little kids and shit, man, and whatnot. So, yeah. I, I don't think John Dahmer was fucking with kids, but maybe Mike. I don't no, know. No, he was. It, it's was he eating doctor. children, too? I don't think he ate him. Was he raping yellow. kids? He, he was, was raping he kids was, and eating their bears? He was them. He was roofing the kids. Yes, like, he was getting like these strays, motherfuckers. Because he was going to the gay bars and shit, getting people. Fuck you. That's where he was going. That's whack. So he went to the gay bars to score dudes to eat them? Yeah, pretty much. Grody. Yeah, yeah. Good. He really tossing salad, bro. Like, the whole thing. He's got tossing s- them in their salad. <laughs> got a uh, crispy gay dude out. fried salad. Eating that's his disgusting. Ass out. Yeah, he eating his ass in and out. Stupid. Yeah, that's exactly what the fuck <laughs> he, he was doing. He eating his whole ass. Like, his whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> he eating all the ass. God uh-huh. damn. Well, he doesn't want to waste. He cooked that with some onion or something like that, like liver. I don't even Carefully, know how you, don't man. Know how you cook people. Well, you, you probably gotta, take parts because he was like talking about how he ate the heart. Nah, the they say they say they say he's taking the organs out and eating. They say pigs are very similar to humans, so if I had to, I would uh, I would barbecue a human if I was going to do it. You barbecue that? That's that's the route I would go. Rotisserie animal. Well, I, you know, gut them and uh, yeah, you take the organs out. You can yeah. fry that up. Real uh, no, quick. no, no, no. I would pigs. smoke them for like eighteen hours. You know what I mean? That's how I would. I mean, fuck. I mean, I'm just theorizing. I mean, you can throw seasoning on anything. That's what I'm so saying. Get that motherfucker a dry rub and cook it for about 18 hours. What kind of wood? You going cherry, uh, apple? A little, a little mesquite, bit of. Maybe? I think. I think that sounds fine. All that, like cherry, apple, <laughs> and mesquite. A little bit of all the things. A little bit of that. <laughs> how about <laughs> cherry and apple? I want to do a cherry apple burn. A cherry apple dude. We we'll do a cherry apple, apple chip, human. Cherry apple with a lemon chip. pepper rub. But huh? we need we need an athlete though. Like. Oh. Like, I don't want to do this to, like, uh... Just a normal motherfucker. Just a normal motherfucker. You need somebody who's been taking care of themselves. Like, we need to do, like, Mark Wahlberg versus, like... Uh, uh, versus, like, and uh... When Mark Wahlberg what's was your in name? No Pain and Gain. What's that bitch the Jew should date? Uh, the Amy comedian bitch with the blonde hair that Amy steals Schumer? people's jokes. Yeah, Amy Schumer. Like, if I had Amy Schumer or Mark Wahlberg, I'm barbecuing Mark Wahlberg long before Amy Schumer. Long before Amy Schumer. Because Mark Wahlberg been taking care of himself, eating right, exercising. That would be some good meat. But, like... Amy Schumer? This would be all grisly. Yeah, like if you got The Rock, you know The Rock gonna have fucking... That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It right. all depends. Like, what are you doing here? Are you Because, like, Amy Schumer, you might as well make sausage with. She'd be good. She'd, She'd be, be good, good sausage. She'd be good, good roast. Good roast. Good yeah, good roast, roast right there. You can get some roast. She'll have that little roast, fat spurl right. sp- yeah, yeah. in it. Like, the yeah. ribeyes yeah. would be nice. Meat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. On nice little steak on that ass, yeah. Right. But a dry rub barbecue style, I'm going Mark Wahlberg before I'm going Amy Schumer. But how do we get here? It's just the fucking way the shit goes. I don't know how this show happens. <laughs> Somebody said to me at my last job, it was like, yo, y'all don't ever run out of shit to talk about. I was like, nah, nah. really. I don't know how we keep it's, doing it. This shit just keeps coming because we're almost 700 in, ain't we? But like, yeah, but like also we don't like hang out all the time when yeah. we're not here. So like we not- keep our interactions kind of exclusive to this. That way when we come here we got so much shit that didn't right, happen throughout because right. we got all different experiences. We all see the world different ways. Well it and started just, with just eating ass and now it came, <laughs> and now it came back to eating ass. Uh, yeah. Somehow other, this other different ass life. eating just stayed yeah. in the topic. Ass right eating there. been around in the whole, the whole just been lingering. Uh-huh. Yeah well you know. It happens. These things happen. I guess it does. Well, yeah, obviously it does. There's a lane for it. Uh-huh. Yeah, because, I mean, shit, they probably was eating ass back then, too. Like, medieval times. Can you see No, they, they was eating all the ass. They was eating everything back then. Uh-huh. They ain't give a fuck. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. they really did. Because they, they well, was always nah, dirty Well, really, because they was really just, like, angry fucking women. You know, because they were all... Women were shit, you know. I don't know, dude. Everybody, I think, was mad the further back you go. I think we've only recently, as a species, got to a point where some of us aren't just angry all the time. Yeah, but as far as the toss and salad thing go, I don't think that's ever been because their oh, ass has been dirty. The ass was dirty back in the day. There's a lot to that. Ass but was like, dirty back. But in the you day. know, you know, 
if you get a bitch fresh, but you get a bitch fresh out the bathtub. Oh well, it's on it pop. Somebody out there put their tongue in a booty hole, and that changed the game for everybody. Some caveman was definitely on that. Somebody put his tongue in a booty hole. That definitely changed the game. That changed like, everything for people. Like, wait just, a you know what? That, no, you know what? The Jew's right. A caveman dragged a bitch home. And he started tossing her salad. He and she was like, I'm staying here. <laughs> he wrote it on a rock, man. He had just some booty hole. His face like this. And his, ah, yeah, had his, ah, had his face, ah, a tongue, and a booty hole. <laughs> it was like when you try to put a picture in the words. That's what he had on his rock. And they found it. And they were like, man, I think he's eating his booty hole. That's what, right. He's looking booty hole. Let's try right. it. He wrote it out. Yep. That's just how I got her to stay. I tossed and her salad. And some fucking English fuck went home and tried it. Was after his crumpets and shit. Some some uptight <laughs> British explorer <laughs> found this cave drawing and went home and tossed salad for the first <laughs> time. I'm a booty hole. That's or, that's like no, the history of tossing switched. salad, though. Think about it, though. The history of tossing salad, right? It started with cavemen, <laughs> yeah. and then it didn't happen for a long, long time. And then it skipped a step. It skipped and a while. Then, and then an explorer, sometime in the 17 or 1800s, or found a cave drawing and was like, "You know what? I'm going to try that." And went home and started tossing salad. Or you could have had just fucking a careless, just reckless motherfucker eating that bitch out, just going to town and slipped and got tongue happy and went into the hole. And she said, "Ooh," and he was like, "Wait a minute." Do that again. No, the caveman knew he was just known. He was just known on the entire thing. That's how that you know. He didn't, no fucks was given. He it took a gone. while. It took a while for the for the white man to really you know get into the get into uh, the game because he was you know <laughs> like little, little tongue it. like snake like. Snake tasting for a shot of just a little, yeah. It's the tongue tip. Snake, snake tasting. Just, just, a, just a scent going. <laughs> just put it out. Just, just put it when out there. When, the, when the snake's tongue just yeah. comes barely yeah. out of his barely mouth. Out, goes, yeah. It wasn't until she grabbed the back of his head and really put him in the booty hole. Like, if you, what are you down there for if you're just going to be doing all that? You're going to take this, take this. Go down there just blow on baby. it. <laughs> <laughs> Get off it, bitch. Like, what are you, what are you doing out there? <laughs> Get off me, bitch. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker, man. Get it's not the blow job I wanted, bitch. Goddamn, ain't no need to dry it off down there. <laughs> Don't let it dry <laughs> off, Oh, yeah, dry off, yeah. Don't let damn. things dry off. Yeah. Don't let the blow dry. Y'all up on that end. Uh, shit, what was that comedian? Corey Hokel. <laughs> he said some shit. He's like, man, there's nothing more to great than eating pussy from the back. Like, I got an asshole looking right at me. No matter what you say to me, well, that's there's nothing more to great than eating b- pussy from the back. I got that asshole just looking at me. Nope. And I'm like, well, man, you got bitches that suck dick from the back. You know what I mean? So, of course, her nose is going to be right in your booty hole, too. Well, but there's a little bit of a difference. You got at least an inch or two between you and, like, the base. When you're eating pussy from the back, there's no space. Yeah, there's no space. You're you know what I'm saying? Your nose is right here. Well, you, you, that's why your nose you got to right here. Taste all on the plate, bro. Yeah, you gotta eat the whole plate. If you gotta taste all on the plate, if you get the big plate, you gotta eat the whole plate. You just can't fucking eat it. Yeah, get that side dish too while you're in there. Yeah, if you if you already at that point (laughs) where the butthole is sitting right here on your nose, you might as well just go ahead because you gotta come up for air. You gotta because you're not breathing in the booty hole. Breathe through the booty hole, maybe. No, you gotta you gotta go take that in. You're not gonna have booty hole. You're not you're gonna come up. So when you come up, you're like, you know what I mean? You almost doing what the reverend did, that nasty motherfucker with you. Nah, you gotta breathe from underneath. You gotta lean in and go <laughs> You know. <laughs> that's what the lady said. You know what the song called? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that wasn't part of the plan. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're eating from the back, you gotta breathe from underneath. He said the soft call. you got this, it's like this going, right? Like that. You're gonna be like like, See, like, like this. you're swimming, you know. Exactly, like you got a snorkel on and you're breathing and from covered. underneath. You find the there air somewhere in there. There's air pocket, maybe not the air pocket you want, but there's a pocket <laughs> of air. <laughs> so you got to try to try to push an air bubble in the vagina that way when you're over there licking on it. You just try to suck it back you're out. You're trying to get your yeah. breath through yeah. a queef. Do you want that queef back? Just please, just gentlemen. Throw an air pocket in there somehow. Or another, you know? that <laughs> said. <laughs> I think we're going to have to bring this episode of the Mason and Friends show to a close. Oh, shit. You know, that's the thing. Always leaving wanting more, right, Mike? (laughs) As long as we don't. (laughs) Yeah, we're dumb as shit. Anyway, be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh I love this, my love this, ladies and gentlemen. Keep moving forward. 
That's right. Protect your mental health, your mental wealth. Protect your energy. Uh huh. And all those fellas, go get therapy, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Your crazy ass. Be careful of these unicorns out here. Watch out for unicorn, unicorn pussy. Pussy and the dust. Oh, unicorn pussy and dick. I know it's out there, ladies. Yep, Y'all yep. got it. And you could get it. The unicorn dick? You know, it's all out there, dog. Yeah, it's all there. Motherfuckers, you know, you ever had that friend? It doesn't matter if they're sex. They get it, and all of a sudden, they're a different person. They're gone, they're there, they're yeah, not. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? It yeah. don't matter if it's digger pussy, motherfuckers be like out on some good. Uh-huh. You give a motherfucker a good orgasm, you change their life. But, that is you know, true. That keep is that true. in mind. Um, and, uh, you know, man, don't forget. Keep grinding on the shit you're trying to get uh-huh, done. Uh-huh, because we believe in you. That's how things get done. Uh-huh, we love y'all. That's right, we love you very much, and uh, peace be with you. Go. Peace.